Did that glitch out? I don't know. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Retold. We're getting started right away here uh, with uh, hellos. Not right into the game. But we've got Lindsay, also known as Tess, from our days of working at Her Interactive. She's hopping in for a day today. Um, welcome. Glad again yeah. to have you. Thank and I was you. like, glad to be here. <laughs> 15 minutes ago. We got this all set up just to have you in here. A um, couple of things before we get started. This is a sponsored stream, so everyone say DAD22 in chat. DAD22 is the promo code for Her Interactive's 30% off discount at their website for all games. So thank you, Her, Her, Her Interactive, if I can talk. DAD22. <laughs> and that sale ends today, so this is the last chance to get it. Um, a game for 30% off. Um, also, hello everyone, everyone in chat, good familiar faces, it's Lefessera, Luna Ferry, Amy C, Gabrielle, Kelly Montgomery, Jenny Liz, Kate, Katie Barnett, Kelly, I said Katie, Kelly, Katie, Kelly, yeah, Brittany, hello, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> all the people. All the people, I'm so excited to see all you guys, um, and I do have some fun behind the scenes things to share with you uh, concerning some art that you were about to see in the game that we're coming up on. I got permission from the person in question this morning and uh, they gave their blessing to share this fun info. So let's get right into the game, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, game, 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 game. All right. Here we go. I'll just yeah, pull the cookies the off on this rack and I'll be oh, all done. Right. So, okay, so I saved it right here so that we knew exactly what we were doing. That's a great stream, a uh, great uh, quote. Cheeseburger. All right, so we're <laughs> supposed to give Manette a call. What timing? Have you ever had mint chocolate chip cookies? Anyone in chat and also you, Lindsay? <laughs> Oh, are we waiting to answer no, the phone? No, go ahead, answer. I'm oh, not going to okay. you. <laughs> I asked you a question. Um, you can have it. Yeah, I, I don't, I've never had any cookies quite like that before, but I've had mint chocolate chip, and they're good. Mint oh. chocolate chips are tasty. Oh, I, I, yeah, I didn't think about the mint, like, chips themselves, but yeah. That's good, too. But yeah, they're delicious, so. Have you? Yes. I feel like Baker Extraordinaire, yeah. I haven't made them myself. I've made it with the mint chocolate chips before. Are super tasty. Oh. I missed the call. Oh no. We can call back. <laughs> it's interesting. I can hear the baby crying in like the apartment next door. That's such a fine detail. Okay, what did, did I like totally miss my opportunity? Do we just need to call? Oh no. I don't know the <laughs> number, you guys. I failed. I failed. Yeah, the edges don't curl. This is made that special yeah. thing was meant for this game only. Yeah, I remember hearing about that a long time ago, and I was like, low key, like sad about that. I was like, oh man, 
that like that would have been such a cool like tidbit to know like as far as baking but oh well there we go oh perfect oh, so good. hello well are they done they sure are describe them describe them describe them i've made them before so i'll know you're lying if you fail to mention the one thing that makes them different from other cookies well their edges curl upwards bingo nice going because of you, Minette is about to become a very happy camper. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so we have called Hugo Butterly. I don't think we've used our zippy calling card yet, so let's try that. Yeah. I have Dad's root beer in honor of Father's Day yesterday. Mm. Yum. I got water, but... <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, so this allows us to call the U.S. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, nothing happened. But then I saw that the numbers changed. Ooh, Black Rose, you put um, mint extract in your chocolate chip cookies. That would Yum. be really good. Nice concentrated flavor. Hello? Bonjour. No, oh, Nancy. George, go get on the other line quick. It's Nancy. <laughs> and remember, talk fast. She's calling all the way from France. So where are you? What have you seen? How do you like Paris? What's Minette like? Have you learned how to design clothes? Beth, slow down. You don't have to talk fast, okay? My dad bought me a phone card and told me to make as many calls as I want. Oh, great. Hi, Nance. What's going on? How's Paris? Have you seen the Louvre? What about the Eiffel Tower? How many famous people George, have you George, three words. Prepaid phone card. Oh, <laughs> great. Hey, perfect timing. We were just about to go for a run. Whoa, wait a minute. A run? Jog. I meant jog. But you said run. I meant jog. You know how I feel about the <laughs> R word, George. Jog. We're going for a jog, Bess. Honest. So, Nance, tell us about Minette. Well, she's very high strung. Why do you say that? Well, the first time I walked into her office, I was almost decapitated by the potted plant she'd just thrown. She threw a potted plant at you? Before she even knew you? That was rude. Actually, she was throwing it at Heather, her assistant. Oh, and Bess, according to Minette, when something is cool, she says it's totally rude. Rude. You know, that's got a ring to it. He is one rude dude. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to start saying that. <laughs> oh my goodness, we can talk to her a little bit. Talk to him about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Someone has been sending Minette threatening letters. You mean someone's been threatening her life? Well, not in so many words. I've only seen one of the letters she's gotten, and it was just kind of vaguely threatening. The end is near, that sort of thing. Do you think the threats are what's causing Minette to act so bizarrely? Or is her bizarre behavior the reason why she's been getting threats? Good questions, and there's only one way to answer them. Find out who sent those letters. Just be careful, Nancy, or you might start getting threatening letters. We love That's threatening nothing. letters. I, don't I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a fashion photographer named Dieter von Schwesterkrank? No, but I'll bet he's young, German, and cute. Why do you say that? Because I have a sixth sense about these things. Go ahead, Nancy. Describe him in all his luscious Teutonic detail. Well, he's young, German, and cute. See? Why do you ask, Nan? He's pretty sure that Manette's assistant, Heather, has a crush on him. Is that good or bad? Well, it's good for Dieter's ego, I'm sure. But if it's true, it's bad for Heather. He couldn't care less about her. He'd better be careful, or her crush could turn into something a little less harmless. Mm. I had mm -hmm. to deliver some prints to this fashion editor named Jean-Michel Traconard. What's he like? Bald, heavyset, and approaching middle age. That's right, Bess. How'd you know? I told you, I have a sixth sense about these things. More likely it has something to do with all those fashion magazines you're constantly reading. I hardly ever read fashion magazines. Do you ever read Glam Glam? Ooh, I love Glam Glam. Well, that's the one he writes for. See? You probably saw his picture in there once and filed it away in your subconscious. Oh. How come my subconscious never seems to file away anything practical? <laughs> anyway, when it Same. comes to the Paris fashion scene, yeah. this Traconard guy pretty much knows everything and everyone. So he's pretty helpful? Uh, mostly he's pretty arrogant. Well, anybody who does business out of a cafe can't be all bad. He does business out of a cafe? Yeah, Nancy just said that, didn't you? Uh, no. Your subconscious strikes again. Dang, am I good or what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that quote. Why can't my subconscious file away anything practical? Same. It's like what useless trivia and knowledge. It's, yeah! I mean, it's fun. Right? But it's not going to help if you need it in a pinch, unless it's like trivia night or something at like yeah. a pub. Yeah. <laughs> 
we've got a celebrity in chat. Welcome, vote for Holt. Glad to see you around. How Hello. are you doing? We're talking to the friends. Yep. I called Minette's That's rival, George. Hugo Butterly. And? Well, he's definitely capable of sending Minette those threats. But he makes such beautiful clothes. Believe me, he's got a mean streak in him a mile wide. Great. I finally find a designer whose clothes look terrific on me, but by the time I get a job and make enough money to be able to afford them, he'll be in prison designing license plates instead of capris. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's concerned about. <laughs> oh, the dialogue is hilarious. You should see how cool, calm, and collected Minette's assistant Heather is, even when Minette is totally wigging out. I don't get it. I mean, how could anyone work for a woman who goes around wearing a mask all the time? Oh, there are crazier characters out there in the world. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Minette has fired three other assistants in the past five months alone. Sounds like Heather is quite the survivor. Or maybe she's the reason the others didn't survive. Ooh, good point. Don't turn your back on her, Nan. She may end up sticking a knife in it. Ooh, careful. She could be the most dangerous person around. I know. <laughs> Knows she's everything. That she is. Yeah. yeah. I told you guys before I left that I'd be rooming with Jing Jing Ling, right? You mean, you really are? Yes. We thought you were kidding. What's she like? Well... Oh, sorry. I was just reading the chat. Uh, you're on a run with Kaylee, vote for Holt. Thought you'd tune in. It's weird that I sort of missed Danger by Design, even though we just finished a playthrough. Oh, you finished a playthrough. Congrats. Feels like a good early summer, late spring kind of game to me. Mm -hmm. Totally. She likes to lie to people. She likes to lie? She says the acting practice that lying gives her helps her be a better model. Be a better model? Maybe. But a better person? I don't think so. I better yeah. go. Keep us posted. Talk to you soon. Okay, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, we have to punch in the number again to call out. <laughs> I want to call the Hardy Boys. Mm-hmm. Have, so, uh, have you not called either of them, like, at the work place or anything? Or? No, not yet. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I have no idea where you are within the game. Aside from that. Can hear a baby crying in the next apartment. That's what yeah. Is. Hello. I've hey, never Joe, noticed that. Nancy. That out. Nancy. Details. Is it true? I thought you were in France. <laughs> I am in France. Frank, pick up the phone down there. It's Nancy Drew calling from France. Everything okay? Everything's great. <sighs> hey, Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Frank. <laughs> Whoa, you sound out of breath. Not out of breath, out of shape. Me? Hey, you're the one who's been taking a break for the last two hours. Break from what? Carrying furniture upstairs. Carpet layers are coming to redo the basement tomorrow, so we gotta get everything out. And I use the term we loosely. Hey, I'm pacing myself here. <laughs> You're in the kitchen eating jelly donuts, aren't you? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, share, Joe, share. I know. <laughs> I like jelly donuts. Well, I made it to Paris, okay? Great. Exactly where are you? Right now, I'm in the Latin Quarter. Wait a minute. I thought you were in France, not Central America. She's in the Latin Quarter of Paris, Joe, not Latin America. <laughs> they call it the Latin Quarter because it's where the Sorbonne University is. And until 1793, Latin was the area's official language. Oh. What are you doing there? I'm in the apartment Amy Grunhild arranged for me. In fact, did I tell you who my roommate is? Is it somebody we know? Jing Jing Ling. Jing Jing Ling? The model? You're rooming with JJ Ling, the famous Australian model? Yep. But put her on. Joe, just calm down. I'm calm. I'm very calm. I'm completely calm. I just want to say hi. That's all. Put her on. I can't put her on, Joe. She's <laughs> not here. Sorry. Oh. Think maybe you could put her on later? Maybe later, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I finally met Minette. So what's she like? Very temperamental. It's like working around dynamite. Mm. One false move and she goes off. And I mean she goes off. Is she talented? Oh, we can choose. Is she talented? Ooh. What do we think? We haven't seen very much of her art, have we? Eh. I guess so. She's in the process of designing a dress for the First Lady. Of the United States? That's pretty cool. Unless something goes wrong and Minette loses it. If that happens, it could turn into an international incident. Minette's studio is something else. Before you left, you mentioned it was an old windmill or something? Right. It's in an old moulin. That's French for windmill. Like that cabaret, a Moulin Rouge. Exactly. 
And like the Moulin Rouge, Minette's windmill is in the section of Paris called Montmartre. The outer office looks like any other modern office, but Minette's studio, which is inside the Moulin itself, is very old and funky. How long has she been there? Only about a year or so. Long enough for her to throw paint all over the wall in a fit of anger. She throws paint? Among other things. Yikes. <laughs> Among other things, yeah. I know. <laughs> Hide the knives. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Parts of Paris are real quaint. Like you can buy stuff from these vendors in the park. But if you want to get a good deal, you have to haggle with them. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, Frank, where's your spirit of free enterprise? What kind of stuff do they have, mm -hmm. Nancy? Everything imaginable. It's like a garage sale, only in a park. I love garage sales. I hate garage sales. Plus, their inventory <laughs> is always changing, so people keep going back to them just to see what new stuff they have. I wish haggling okay. was common in this country. There's nothing better than feeling like you've gotten yourself a really good deal on something. And when somebody rips you off? Nobody rips me off, Frank. <laughs> okay, except for that bogus concert ticket I bought from Gerald the budding juvenile delinquent Higginbotham in junior high school. But I was young Ooh. then, very young. <laughs> I'll let you go. Don't be a stranger. Take care. All right, let's get into some mystery solving now, huh? Excellent. Um, honestly, I forget what we're doing because we are playing on Senior Detective. That's right. Um, we okay. So she was supposed to go. Hang on. Let's go back to the Moulin. It's too late to go anywhere no. now. Oh no. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we need to do. Um, okay. We should... Oh, day three. I keep forgetting that this game is a day... A, 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 yeah. It's like multiple day adventure, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I know, like, like there are some games, like, was it Shadow Ranch or whatever, where it's like, since you're outside, it's a lot easier to tell in-game. But because you're just going to different places where it's not super obvious all the time, I never remember that it's multiple days. Yeah. Um... Have you ever been to France, Lindsay? Uh, I have, yeah. It's been like a good decade or so, but yeah, I have. So. Awesome. Where'd you go? We went to, because it was like a family trip, we went to Nice oh, and nice. Paris. So, yeah. Awesome. It was it was a ton of fun. Have yeah. you been to France? No, I watch a lot of travel shows, though. No. Nice, nice would be a place I would love to visit. Get the phone, mm -hmm. please. Okay. It was really pretty. So we'll get the phone, all right. Minette's House of Design. I need to speak to Minette. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. but she's unavailable. Just get her on the phone. I'll see what I can do. All right. I'm on hold. <laughs> and then walk away. Uh-oh. <laughs> a stuffed oh, parrot? Buy a stuffed parrot. Give me tons of errands to run this in town. Okay, so buy a stuffed <laughs> parrot. Oh, oh my gosh. Do not disturb. Okay, that would be. Minette, you have a phone call. I do not want to be disturbed. Now go away. But he's very insistent. Go away or you're fired. Ouch! Oh, quit whining. It's just a pin. Oh, poor Jing Jing. I know. <gasps> Snoop time. Yep. Right? Maybe? You could call her stuff. Is there a McKay fashion portfolio? Not exactly my oh. style, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Koi fish. Nice. Feather oh. boa. I don't like, I can't even imagine coming up with these different ideas. I'm not very creative when it comes to fashion. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, she's what? busy. May I take a message? Hello? Hello? Hmm. Guess he hung up. Fine by me. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Kimmy, it's just two minutes right now. Yep. Like, jeez, man. Okay, so we need to go to the park and buy a parrot. Right. Where was it? Pont Neuf? Wait, she's gone, so I could snoop the dodo box. Nuts. Uh, you totally could. 
I might still be yeah, gone right? when we get back. Wait, what's the cost, the lowest cost I can get the, the parrot for? Anyone know? <laughs> Wait, five, if you knock on the door again, you could get a second champ scene, Jenny Taylor? Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's just go do that real quick. I like fail scenes. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let's do that real quick. Got some trouble. <laughs> Assuming that Heather's not back. Although she wouldn't be back yet. Shoot, I still have to go to the park and get that stuffed parrot for Heather. Yeah, good reminder. Um, here we go. Oh, I missed my opportunity. To get it pretty. <laughs> nice. He's gorgeous. Lovely. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Have fun with this. Excellent. Alrighty, this is very similar to the Coyote Roadrunner Fox Coyote Lady. game. Yeah. Or not Fox and Geese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah. All right, guys. Speaking of France and traveling and all that kind of stuff, what where all have you guys gone in the world? Like, if you have you traveled multiple states, if you're in the United States, have you been to other countries? And if so, where have you been? Oops. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Jenny Liz has been to Canada. Yeah, I think I've been to only Canada. Yeah. Toronto. Yeah, where, where in Canada? Oh, you went to Whistler, right? Yeah, I've been to Whistler, um, and I've been to Victoria. Ooh, yeah, Victoria's nice. Buttons are very tiny. Oh, nuts! <laughs> I could do the cheating thing, but this is showing... Senior? Senior, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome, it does show senior, but I don't understand these buttons. Hang on. <clears throat> What does uh, A8 mean? Oh, A, B, C, D, E. This is an interesting guide. Oh, to show you how to get... Yeah. Huh. The, the numbers in the grids below represent moves through the puzzle spaces. Move the dodo huh? from step one to step two. And keep counting up until you solve all three puzzles. This is weird. Hmm. Why, why not just do like up, down, left, right? A bazillion times. I think that's what Sunny June had in <laughs> his notes, right? Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh. A. B. C. D. Oh, I e. see. Okay. That, that makes sense. So, and each of them looks like art. Yeah. Huh. Well, that... Okay, that, that makes more sense. But... Hello, Jake. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Doing okay? Just solving a puzzle. So, Brit uh, yeah, Brittany, you've been to Vancouver in the town they filmed Once Upon a Time in. That's cool. Oh, very cool. Did you cool. get to see like any like the landmarks and stuff that are featured in the show? Damien went to several states in the U.S. I'm assuming U.S. Jake, I like that solution. Takes the dodo box and smashes it against the ground. There, it's open. But then everybody yeah. knows you touched yeah, it. Yeah, it's just it's nice and subtle. <laughs> All right, where are we? Ooh. Maria, you've been lucky to have traveled to all 50 states. Wow. That's awesome. Was it like a great big road trip or was it just like just over time? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you in advance. Thank you. <laughs> Gabrielle says, I haven't been outside of Canada yet. I want to go to France, Italy, and Ireland. Mm. Those are pretty exciting travel destinations. Yeah, Ireland is awesome. Kelly's done a bit of traveling. Arizona to Alaska, which means you've been through Canada. True. You're going straight through a road trip. Yeah, I don't know. Do you count it if you are just passing through a province or a state to say that you've, you've been there? 
Because I mean, yeah. I've flown across the U.S. to the complete opposite end. So I don't know how many states we went over, but we did do a layover in Chicago, Illinois. So I guess that counts for Illinois. Yeah, yeah, that totally counts because sure. you've been in there. So I've been like in the you airport. Physically touched the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I say that counts. Okay, last one. Here we go. Nice. Do 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 do. So we go down. Oh, where am I? Uh, uh you're. Oh, you're oh, up I'm left up here. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So down. Ooh. Down. Denny Taylor, you're traveling right now, heading home from the Grand Canyon. That's awesome. Nice. Was it like a like a post school trip or something like that? I don't know. Because I know, like, I feel like a lot of people are out of school right now. Like... Jake says, I'm not subtle, <laughs> but Nancy should be thankful all time is frozen so she can open this box without anyone seeing her. <laughs> True. Oops. I went oh, down no. too far. Here we go. You got this. Yay! Yay! Okay, yeah. I understand the guide now. I might have done it a little bit differently in the solution, but that's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, we still got it. Dodo! Oh, let's start with the first one. Ooh. It is not over. Nothing ends until I say it does. Next time, I will do much more than throw paint. <clears throat> oh. Okay, someone else threw paint? Mm hmm. The letters on this one look different than the letters on the others. Yeah, they only went with one font and different sizes. Mm -hmm. You are as mean as you are thoughtless, and it has to stop. Your punishment will be will come when you least expect it. You're so mean. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> I know. Don't be mean. Okay, make the most of what little time you have left. Soon it will all be over. Okay, so that's the one I read. That mm -hmm. I received. It is not over. Nothing ends. Wait, did I just read this one? Oh, yeah, I thought. There are two red ones. One of the top ones? Okay, here we go. Your oh, okay. show will be a disaster. You will never be able to show your face in Paris again. You <laughs> alone are to blame. Wow. Mm. All right, let's go get that parrot. All right. Buy some other souvenirs. What other souvenirs do you guys want to buy? Uh, I've only got so much money. <laughs> you should just buy everything you can. Cybertech, why is Nancy releasing all the negative energy trapped in the box? Because <laughs> Nancy is a magnet for negative energy. <laughs> she totally is. Besides, she's used to getting those death threats, so. Oh, hey, that looks like Dieter. I wonder what he's doing. Sitting in the park. Hey, course. Dieter! <laughs> Oh, sketchy Hi. face. I don't. No, wait! Dieter! Dieter! What did he run away for? That was weird. Looks like he left something on the bench. These must have fallen out of his pocket. Uh, Damien, I regularly use Alaska Airlines when I fly out of Seattle. Uh, but I think at that time when I went to Chicago, I took Delta. I think. Yeah. Was that Tornad? That's the woman who that historian was calling about. Why would Dieter be carrying this around? Hmm, we'll just take that. Ooh. Gadgets and gizmos. That's very cool. <laughs> Bonjour. What intrigues Mademoiselle Zistan? Oh, blue parrot. <laughs> well, let's see. Mm, is this parrot very expensive? The price is very reasonable. 20 euro. How about if I pay five euros? Vendu. Same what money. is tickles the fancy? I got 143. Um. Oh, that's a lot. I think. A wetsuit. Not just any wetsuit. It used to belong to a friend of the famous undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau. A friend who is said to have shared many adventures with him. For that reason, I sell it for 125 euro. Huh, let's see. I'm trying to see what the cheapest of this I can get is. Um, the wetsuit for 31. Okay, great. 
and get it for 31. 31 euros, that's all I'll pay. Vendu. What the hell tickles the fancy? Okay, codes and ciphers, why not? Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of goes well. with this. Codes and ciphers. I don't know, that python in the back looks pretty... <laughs> you, you want that? Pretty enticing. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to come back for some more things. What would you guys like? <laughs> the last parrot. Indeed. Um. I mean, not all of the... Not all of these are in the correct order of the guide. But, let's see. Maybe we might have to come back to it later. Let's come back to that later. Yeah. Um, I really don't want to buy anything right now. But we can earn money. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Shall we Au revoir. do art? Let's do it. Let's do art. Let's do some art. Let's make some Bonjour. more money. Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? Will you still pay me if I do one of those paintings for you? Be my guest. Okay. Woo! It's kind of too bad that, um... He won't accept any art that is any coloration that's different. Mm hmm. Because I'd be like, I got some creative ideas of how the Mona Lisa should look. I know. <laughs> you could give her blue hair. Yeah. It's super exciting. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. The key thing is, is to never forget about coloring the inside of the eyes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because they're just small enough to where they'd be easy to miss. No. Mm. This. This. Yeah, because green is just your complexion, dear. <laughs> you look fabulous. Mm -hmm. It goes really well with the with the curly hair and the poofy <laughs> outfit, you know. Lime green adds a nice touch. <laughs> Monsieur, how's this? Magnifique! You have done excellent work. And for that, I reward you. Do so you wish to paint another? What happens if you paint one? Huh? What happens if you do it incorrectly? Does he just say you don't get paid? Uh, I think he doesn't say anything, uh, but I could be wrong. We could try it. Of course! Be my guest! <laughs> oh, we can choose this one. Oh, this one takes forever, though, but I think you get more money. Oh, if you do the... Oh, that would make yeah. sense. Oops. Purpley purple. Have any of you guys ever done paint by number or paint or color by number, paint by number? Yeah. I used to do those. Those were fun. Yeah, they were if they if they weren't too detailed. If they were too detailed, I'd get intimidated, kind of thing. Yeah. Like those those adult coloring books or whatever. Like Highly that you'd detailed. see in like art stores. Yeah. Where it's like it looks super cool and if you have the patience then it's great. But yeah. Right. Oh, Amy C videos. He doesn't accept it if you do it incorrectly. Oh, eh. well. What does oh he well. know about art? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember, Lindsay? Do you remember mm -hmm. the fuzzy posters? Yes. The oh fuzzy my goodness. Posters? Wow. What a blast from the past. I know. Right? I don't. I think I may have done like one or two. I had a cousin who did a whole bunch, and I was, I was like, whoa. Those were, are so cool looking. They were so cool back then. Yeah. Oh yeah. There was those and like the like the the black sheets of paper where if you scratched it off it would reveal like a rainbow oh. design or something like that. Very cool. Those, I think I had those. those. Were, yeah. Those were the other those were the other things, but yeah. Oh very cool. Oh, Gabrielle says my mom does paint by number. Nice. Yeah. Brittany says, my little niece is obsessed with the Happy Color app. Very similar. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of nice that it's in an app. It's a little bit, um, it's more contained, I guess. <laughs> there is an app that I've got. It's free. It's a cross-stitch app. So you pretty much Ooh. zoom in really tight on on the, uh, on the art, because it's all a, a pixel grid. And oh. it'll have a color code. Like AA is red, and you have to yeah. put the red in. It'll do like an X, a red X. So it's like you're cross stitching, but oh. you're pretty much just doing pixel art. And that's how I based um, some of the color by number picture downloads that are on her interactive's website. 
Oh. I based it on that idea. So That's like, super cool. If you if you go to the haunted carousel, go to the download section of their website at Her Interactive, and there is a paint or color color by number download you can print out, and then color according to the guide that I include there. And it's it's pixel art. It's like you know tiny little dots of color so that you create a yeah. colored image. It's really I thought it was really fun. Oh, that's cool. I'll have Monsieur, to get how's this? That. Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. Now I'm good. <laughs> I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. You sounded like the German intimidator on the phone. <laughs> Maybe it's him. All right, should we it's go? just been this guy the whole time. Bonjour. I have many new things, you see? Wow, you sure do. You are sure to find something you like. <laughs> is this Ichido book any good? That book is <laughs> very good. If you are around dangerous people, then you must get this book. You pay only 23 euros. We're around dangerous people. Mm hmm How much can we get for it? I don't know, it doesn't... I don't see it in here. I, I don't think I was smart enough to haggle correctly when I was doing these. Well, if you haggle too low, she's like, no, I'm offended. You're gonna pay full price. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, that's the risk you take. Yeah. How about if I pay six euros? Voila! Yes! What else do you like? I'm good. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. <clears throat> When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Let's take a look at our souvenir. <laughs> oh, I can't look at the cover. Wait. Oh, Father. Chang. Chuck Norris. <laughs> Udomoto. Oh, C. Norris was the last one to check it out. As in, oh, and Bruce Lee. Bruce <laughs> Lee and Chuck Norris, you guys. They wow. learned from the Ichido book. Oh, my word. Yeah, that's why they were so good. <laughs> Introduction to Ichido. Ichido is an ancient, extremely simple yet highly effective form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Although it is in truth nothing more than a repertoire, rep repertoire of nine distinct, precisely delivered offensive blows, Ichido can, when executed by a master, vanquish a foe in seconds. Ichido has never enjoyed great popularity, largely because the Ichi practitioner is required to proceed each move with a very specific verbal salute, or chi cry. That's why it's not popular. You have to say the words. <laughs> Once an adversary learns which, ichi cr which chi cry precedes that blow, he of course can respond to each chi cry with the appropriate block and thus defend himself indefinitely. Nevertheless, Ichido is still learned and practiced by with great enthusiasm by people with a passion for power and a taste for novelty. You know, we just realized <laughs> that we bought a library book. Do you think they'd want it back? Yeah, it is a library book. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. It's like with the check, huh? Attack stance. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, and then left attack so upper over here okay uh huzzah i love these i love these poses his, <laughs> yeah. his medallion is is reflecting off of the camera they must have taken with a flash camera <laughs> cheap but it works. i love it <laughs> over here okay <laughs> guys that 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 fro is is beautiful <laughs> it's beautiful flawless especially it's, with the the tie I want the medallion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh um, I'd love to. I, I, whoever came up with the chi cries, they're beautiful, mm -hmm. and they should they should make up names for everything else on this. Ika is on the left. Yeah. S is on the right. Yeah, that's a great cry. S <laughs> Look out! It's coming. I know. <laughs> Shira, right in the front. <laughs> Kila, down here. Shazza! Okay. Shazza! Uh, and then she is down the middle. Awesome! Okay, fun fact time. Who's ready for some fun facts? <laughs> Absolutely. So I reached out to... Oh, excuse me. 
I reached out to the person and found the correct person. I have their blessing to share this information. That information is for this guy. Uh, that <laughs> is actually done by the QA lead, QA manager of her interactive back in the day. And uh, his actual name and actual picture is, come on, that is Brent. Oops, sorry, there it is. That's what Brent looks like in real life. Fun facts. Mm -hmm. learned it here. I love fun facts. <laughs> you learned it here. That's him. Yep. Thank you for your contributions, Brent. Mm -hmm. We absolutely love mm -hmm. this book. Yep. I appreciate it's a shame it that greatly. you had to cut your hair, but you know. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a fabulous, fabulous hairstyle, and I love it. <laughs> the out the outfit looks a little bit warm, but I hope you got to keep the medallion because that's pretty cool. <laughs> Very shiny. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. <laughs> I think this is a great reflector if you need it. <laughs> I love the poses. I love, I love the face that goes with it. It's like, yeah. Yes. It's so into it. Absolutely. Wonder whose idea was it for this book, really? No idea. Okay. Onward to. Did we deliver the. We have not delivered the parrot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hopefully, Minette's not mad at us. Uh, if we have it, I'm sure. Why would she want a parrot? But then it's Minette, who knows? <laughs> For fun. I want to say the mustache was fake, but I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. Fake mustaches are fun for a short mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Whoa. Now what? You have to get them out of there. Who? What happened? This little box came for me and when I opened it, all these bugs came pouring out. Yay. They're all over the place in there. You have to get them out before they lay eggs or something. <laughs> Maybe you should just call an exterminator. No! Nothing good ever comes from killing things. Hmm. Just go in there and put them back in the box they came in. Carefully. Don't kill any of them. I wonder if she feels the same about human life. It's not mm -hmm. good to kill them. Maybe we are in okay company. She might be dangerous, but she's not going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Don't worry. I'll get them out of there for you. Bless you. Yes. Oh. oh, this is that fun. Must be I like the this. box they came in. Mm -hmm. I like this challenge. It's actually quite fun. I don't know how Nancy is picking these up. Uh, so there but are nine. Just... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, save the bugs. Save the chocolate <laughs> bugs. <laughs> I like how once they get in the box, they're like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just stay here. Gotcha. Damn. Oh, I want to snoop. Oh my gosh, the letters in these fonts look exactly like the ones that were used in one of those threatening notes Manette got, which means Heather must have sent it. The purple uh, one. You are. I just noticed that my stream alerts were not working. I'm sorry. Lionheart, thank you so much for renewing the uh, membership. If you're here, thank you so much. I need to get my alerts fixed. I don't know what is wrong with them. Hmm. I'm glad that you saw that. This fabric is so strange. It's soft and metallic all at the same time. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> like you can hear the people outside too. Plate time's <laughs> over, little guy. Or girl. <laughs> or girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jake says, oh, the Packers won the Super Bowl, yay! And that's why she screamed. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Yum. Ooh, more snooping. <gasps> Department of Modern History, U.S. Kearns, Kearns, California. Dear Miss Minette. Ooh, she's very persistent. Um, Dear Miss Minette, it's in the books on the women of the French Resistance, uh, exploits of Noisette Trenard, uh, because she owned the windmill which you now own. Oh, this is from that historian who called before. Maybe she can help me figure out why Dieter was carrying that obituary around. <laughs> Jake. Ah, the Packers won the Super Bowl. Yay! That's why she screamed. I know. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. That's exactly why she screamed. Okay, I think we're going to need to call Lynn Manrique. Yeah. Maybe. I know, yeah, Damien. I have no idea how she's grabbing the rope. If roach, I were an insect, imagine... where would I hide? I would not want to pick one of those up with my bare hands. <laughs> I'd get a cup. Yeah, yeah. A lot of cups. 
<laughs> Not a cups. <laughs> or I guess if you do one at a time, then just one, but... Mm. Got it. Hey, you're so fast! Zippy zoom. <laughs> it's all like zippy zoom. On the team. <laughs> Jack says, maybe Dieter is just a really weird person who likes carrying obituaries on him, Nancy. Do you ever consider that? <laughs> right? Some people have interest in, you know, random things. So, you know, whatever. Like obituaries, you know? They're <laughs> cool. Yeah, they make for some really interesting light reading, you know. Yeah. So someone's life summed up in two sentences or a paragraph, it's like, what, yeah. what, what do they get written about? You know, yeah, how do you, like, how do you even decide what to put in one of those things? I guess... Two, two more. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. Mm-hmm. It's Lufusra. I'm sorry if I totally butchered oh, these your, guys are fast. your username, but it's Lufusra? this is so disgusting for me as someone who hates insects. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad it's yeah. virtual. It's not real I know. life. Oh, that would be so uh, cool. Hey, they're not I hope spiders. they never figure out the technology to do that. <laughs> Where's the other hot spot? Who knows? Um, it's not in the middle of the room. Oh, good idea. Nope. Look at all her circular objects. Can I look behind the, the dress? I forget. I know. Maybe in the tea supplies. <laughs> Yum. I know. <laughs> Get some extra protein. Hey! Manette! Open the door! <laughs> no. I'm not letting you out until you catch all the bugs. <laughs> okay. I've never tried to do that before. That's really funny. <laughs> I can't go to the right. There's nothing in the recycle. Did you get, uh, Brittany says, did you get behind the desk? Um, I think I did. I mean, there's the top of the desk. Um, I mm. sort of got there. Oh, come on. Ooh, Kate says, for real, I've had to get about five spiders out of my bedroom tonight. Ah, I have Ew. a cup in here purely just for catching insects. Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Brett. Hopefully they're not super big, at least. Ugh, I don't here, like buggy, buggy, buggy. Yeah, that'll do it, Nancy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's when they all come out and say, ah, you got me. Yeah. It's always the last one I get tripped up on. Mm -hmm. I want to say I was here because I haven't collected one there yet. Aha! Yeah. Oh, it. There it is. Woo! There! That has got to be the last bug. Hopefully. There's yeah. only nine slots. You can open the door now, Manette. <laughs> Did you get all of the bugs? Yes, Manette. How many are there? I don't know. Nine? Are they all alive? Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill any? Positive. And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that box to the park and let those things go. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Probably the only thing those twisted little vermin are thinking about right now is revenge. Exactly. Manette, they're cockroaches. Exactly. <laughs> so I want you to count to ten, and then, and only then, are you to come out of there. All right? Anything you say. <laughs> One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a nut job. <laughs> hey, she's gone. I want to snoop all her stuff. Let me do it. I know. <laughs> uh, I can't, though. What do I do about the parrot? Do I give it to Heather? No. Okay, yeah, fine. We'll go. On her desk. You're like, you give it to her. <laughs> We have a box, a chocolate box filled with cockroaches. Do we want to like <laughs> leave it with anybody? Like, hey, I have a gift for you. Here you go. I think Dieter is looking for some cockroaches that he can take pictures of. Feed it, feed it to his snake too. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, help it come out. Now, can you imagine riding the subway with just this box, knowing there's a bunch of cockroaches in it? Like, what happens if the subway like stops suddenly? And like you accidentally drop the box. 
<laughs> that would make for a really chaotic day. <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah. Okay, guys, end of the line. You are out of here. You go feed it to the pigeons. Hey, pigeons, <laughs> I got you a box of chocolates. <laughs> Okay, let's go back and talk to Manette. Look, oh, look, Ringle. Nancy Drew. Oh, I never noticed that before. I never paid attention to the fine stuff back there. Uh, Kelly, I don't think we can leave the box with anybody. Aww. It's a fun thought, though. I know. Maybe JJ could make cookies with them. <laughs> and serve it to Manette. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the stuffed parrot? Here you go. What's it for, anyway? It's a Manette thing. You wouldn't understand. No one, no one would. would. <laughs> yeah, so it's not worth trying, I suppose. You just do what you're told. Why did you write Manette that threatening letter? What? You think I wrote those letters? Mm. I think you wrote at least one of them. Can you prove it? The letters on it match the memo you sent Manette about fonts. Okay. Couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. Oh my gosh. Wow. The way she made you suffer when she started going out with Dieter. You really don't miss a trick, do you? I thought when she dumped him like that that he'd finally come to his senses and realize that I'm the one he should be with. But even now, even after she broke up with him, she still has some kind of weird, sick hold on him. Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all over again. And she's so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me, or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. Okay, I believe there are two different endings to this game, if you tattle on her, or if you don't tattle on her. Alright, so, did we complete- okay, we did this, that, this, that, yeah, this is whenever. Do whatever Minette tells you to do. So, I suppose, we could try calling Lynn Manrique, or if Minette's oh, yeah. back, we can talk to her. What? Someone with a German accent called for you when you were fitting JJ, but he didn't leave a message. Oh? He sounded kind of angry. I'm sure it wasn't important, so don't worry about it. What else? There's something that I think <gasps> you no, should no, know no. about Heather. Oh? I think what? you can- I think you can- Oh, yeah, it's thank you, nothing. Thank you. Never mind. I didn't mean to- Any more questions? <laughs> Do you have any idea oh. who sent you that box of cockroaches? No. Probably just some idiot who has no understanding of how much I have to do and how long it takes me to do it and thinks the world revolves around him and what he wants and can't understand why people don't jump just because he snaps his finger. I mean, probably just some practical joker, that's all. Okay. Guess I'll be going. Good. Good. Yeah, wow. Heather is an angel for putting up with me. Honestly. I have to have an intense amount of patience. What now? Yeah. Should we go back to JJ? Should we call Lynn Manrique? I think we should call Lynn since we're by the phone. We should go talk to Dieter. Hey, what's the deal with you <sighs> running away from me in the park? Yeah! Yeah, guy. Come on. They totally would have seen. Yeah. But she was there. Okay, there but. we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> Did anyone ever have to have a phone like this where you had to push the buttons? Modern European history, them? Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier, when you tried to call Minette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful! Please, put her on. Uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. How long did she live in the Moulin, where Minette now has her studio? She lived there for 55 years, from 1949 to 2004. 
She sold it when she moved to Provence, which is where she passed away. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years. Yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. What did she do during the war? From 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. His name was Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. You're kidding me. Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkrank, the fashion photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. You see, some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. That sounds pretty heroic to me. Well, some people said she stole them for herself. And unfortunately, the artwork remains lost to this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Schwesterkrank, who passed away a year or two ago, and that the place was her beloved Moulin, which is why I'm hoping Manette will allow me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words, red, left, green. Is there anything inside the Moulin that has to do with red, left, green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? After the Many. war, when she was the director Many. of public works, <laughs> what kind of things did Moisette do? She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris enjoyed every day. Streets, bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. And so we've made a connection from the Moulin oh. to the park with Noisette. What was the French resistance? That was the name given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's military occupation of France during World War II. Some would engage in strikes and sabotage, while others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. What else can you tell me about the German occupation of Paris? The German army entered Paris on June 14, 1940, and after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted, food, supplies, houses, artwork, and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. Some people ignored the situation as best they could. Some collaborated with the Germans, while others, like those in the resistance, fought back until the city was finally liberated on August 25th, 1944. What's the story behind the Cross of Lorraine? The vertical bar crossed by two horizontal bars is an emblem that was first used by Joan of Arc, as well as the Dukes of Lorraine in the 15th century. But during and after World War II, it became a symbol of the French resistance. Nowadays, it's not unusual to see it on statues or monuments commemorating the period in French history from 1940 to 1945. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette spent the rest of her life trying to forget. Okay, I'm just trying to look up this actress because she sounds familiar, but looks like that's the only role she's done. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> As I say, she sounds a little bit, at least to me, a little bit like the voice actor for Bess in this game. A little bit, yeah. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Call back any time. I know, right. poor Nazbet. Yeah, I mean, that's rough. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, so I need to make a note to myself to go find and talk to Dieter. This is a great spot to call it a day, save our game. Do -do 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 -do. Oh wow, it's six o'clock already. I know already, oh my right? Mm-hmm. Okay. One last thing, you guys. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Her interactive sale ends today, 30% oh. off. Use promo code DAD. 22 at checkout to get 30% off any of the Nancy Drew games at their website. Thanks again, Her Interactive, for sponsoring this. And then a little shout out for me. There's only 11 days left. You can get the Ryokan Flower Charm that is available in my Etsy shop. Only 11 days and I am taking it down. So whatever is left, that's how much time you have left to get it. First come, first serve, and then it's gone. The link to my Etsy shop will be down in the description below. You can find that there. Hello, Nancy Drew Walkthroughs. You're late, but we're oh, just hello. about to head out. <laughs> we'll catch you later. <laughs> Thanks for saying hello. Yes. I know we've done so much in such a little time, but I'll see you guys next week. Thanks again, Lindsay, for joining tonight. And we'll see you, or at least I'll see you. We'll see how next week pans out, but we'll see you in the next, in the next live stream. Thanks for watching all. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. Whoops, not, not someone's messaging me. Okay, here we go. <laughs>